This episode of See Tally Run is brought to you by Fuel Strip, the women's running San Diego half marathon and 5K, benefiting the Edith Sanford Breast Cancer Foundation and MTech Results. <laughs> Hi, I'm Olympian Carrie Tullison, and today I'm interviewing fellow Olympian Kara Goucher. So let's get after it. How are you feeling, Kara? I've been watching that you are racing a little bit now, racing your way back into shape. So tell us and our viewers how you're feeling and if you're healthy again or if you're just, you know, figuring things out. I am healthy. I had a really rough year where I, I came off the Olympics a little dinged up and then I got injured in the fall and then I kind of carried that into Boston and then I finally was healthy and ran really poopy at U.S. Champs, and then two weeks later I broke my foot. So it's kind of been a long year, and I mean, you know what it's like. I've kind of just set my goal on being starting 2014 healthy. I have nothing on the calendar. I'm just the goal is just be healthy. I still have a lot of big goals, but I just need to kind of set all that stuff aside and kind of build my way back. You know, we are, you know, getting towards the end of our career and there's frustration that happens because you're like, come on, the time's ticking. So how do you do that? I mean, so many people love that you put yourself out there and you just do it. I mean, you just got to get back out there and you're great at showing that. I think like for me, I think all year long I was kind of hitting my head against the wall trying to be where I wasn't yet. Mm -hmm. And that, that kind of cost me the entire year. You know, I just had setback after setback. So I realize my time out there on the elite level is limited, but at the same time, I want it to be quality. Whatever is left, I want it to be quality. I don't want to be doing these patchwork marathons where I just patched together a little training block. I want to do it and know that those last few races I have left are like real races and mm -hmm. I've put a lot into them. So it was a learning process this year. I'm like not pumped that at 35 I had to like relearn some lessons, but yeah. I just am really yeah. focused on making these last few years count. And that maybe means, you know, like not racing as often or only racing when I'm ready, but I just want it to count. Well, we had a few people write in some questions for you. So okay. I'm just going to ask those quick. Okay. Uh, I suppose you have a second run today too. So we're probably yes. cutting into That's your okay. time for that. No, you're fine. Okay. Okay. So this is what one person asked. They said, what is your favorite family meal that you use for fueling your running? Oh, favorite family meal? Probably some sort of pasta. We eat a lot of pasta because Colt is like a vegetarian by choice. And so, oh. yeah, we, I mean, we grill a lot of fish and then he loves rice and beans, but we eat a lot of pasta because he will eat it. Um, but we, you know what, we like experiment. Like we've been eating gluten-free noodles. We try to just change it up and have different mm -hmm. things, but Really like, I make the same things I put on pizza, we put in our pasta. So just pesto and a little tomato sauce and lots of veggies. And mm. Adam and I will have a little chicken on the side and Colt will not. <laughs> really? Just he doesn't like the texture? He just doesn't like it. And we've like literally tried everything and he'll oh. eat it and his eyes will water. And it's just like, it's, uh. we feel like it's just not worth it anymore. You know, he eats like a lot of Greek yogurt and he eats beans and we just feel like he literally just does not like it. So. Yeah. We are playing that game right now. Oh my gosh. It's like anything I make. Mm -mm. How about I tried to make tater tot hot dish the other day? Oh, love it. <laughs> and Ruby threw it up at the table. <laughs> so you were like, okay, you don't like it. <laughs> yeah. I was like, come on. This is like the best potluck meal that I haven't had in, you know, a long time. Yeah. And puked it up. Oh. Lovely. <laughs> okay. Another question. Do you have a pre-race go-to workout to help build confidence? Um, I do. It kind of depends on what I'm training for. In the marathon, obviously, it's like a longer workout. Uh, with Jerry, we do like a set sets of mile, mile, two mile with 90 seconds in between. And when I can do four sets of that at goal pace, and I know I'm like ready. With Alberto, it was a lot of just straight mile repeats or a 10 mile tempo or run. So mm -hmm. it just depends all of my coaches and, um, all of the different disciplines. Like if I'm getting ready for the track, obviously then it's something different that I want to be doing. So, but I do have little workouts for each thing that make me feel, feel ready to go. A couple more from our viewers. What tricks do you have for getting real runs in with a baby jogger? Now, I don't know if you run with a baby jogger very much. I really don't. Um, Adam was like a champ. He, when we first had Colt, like I didn't want to be away from him, but I committed to Boston, so I really needed to get back at it. And I tr tried with the jogging stroller, and it just, I was already so like out of whack that that 
was just like, I couldn't do it. But he has done like two hour runs with me pushing that wow. thing. Yeah. Well, what are, what's going on with you next? What are you doing next? You know, I don't have anything on the calendar. I was hoping to do the um, half marathon championship. And then I realized I was like pressing to do that. Mm -hmm. So I kind of, it might happen. It might not mm -hmm. really. I mean, my goal next year is to get back to my speed. I feel like I've been so away from it basically since I had cold. And I feel like if I don't get back to it now, I'll, I'll lose it forever, you know? Oh, my gosh. So that's kind of <laughs> – you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm just, like, so removed from it. So I'm like, I, that's kind of the goal for the year and then a fall marathon. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Okay. All oh, very cool. Well, we wish you all the best. It's, we're living vicariously through you. So no more injuries. Put those away. No. The injuries – I've learned my lesson. And, you know, like I, I remember you saying, oh, I don't recover quite how I used to. And – I really learned that this year, like I have to, I'm not in my twenties anymore and I have to be smarter about everything that I do. And sometimes that means actually doing less. Yeah. And that's like hard to wrap your head around when you're used to like more, 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 but I'm starting to learn that sometimes less is more for me at this point. Well, you've been running so well for so long that your body knows that. So you yeah. don't have to tap into all of the extra stuff now. Just use what you got. Cause you got a lot girl. <laughs> Thank you got you. going on. <laughs> That's right. What are, you, what are you up to right now? What is your weekly mileage at? I've been running 80 for the last few weeks, and I think I'm just going to keep it there for a while until like I get some more like quality sessions. So I haven't, you know, my sessions haven't been so great. So, and but I really haven't been pushing it either. But until I can get like some good quality sessions and some con like some consistency there, and then maybe I'll start bumping it up a little more. But I also am kind of just like. If I want to tap into my speed, I can't be doing 120 miles a week, right. you know? So I might stay at 80 for a while. Okay, okay. Well, you ran your first marathon off of about 80, didn't you? I know, yeah. I think, you know, too, like you you run your first one and you're like, oh, I'm not even ready, and then it goes well, and then you feel like you always have to do more. Right. And now I'm kind of like, you still have to do the work, don't get me wrong, but I'm kind of like kind of trying to get back to that where I had a lot of speed and a lot of fitness from the track, and then a few bigger weeks and then I went for it, you know, and I'm kind of trying to get back to that sort of a wrap my head around that this year and try it. Just try something new. Yeah. <laughs> what are your plans? What are you thinking? I don't know. You know, I actually threw around the idea of the half in Houston as well, just cause I want to come and see my friends. Like I miss you guys when I don't get to yeah. come and run. So, um, I thought about that, but I think I'm going to just wait and, but do a half marathon somewhere. Cause I've never really done one. So yeah. You know, and, and then maybe we'll see if I can get going again. You know, the master circuit is kind of like shaping up to be nice. And I know we still have years away, but four years away to be, to be honest. But I still think like if I can get going again, that would be kind of fun to you know, get my fun. wheels under me and, and see if I can race competitively again. But there's more babies coming with us. Not yet. Oh, there's really? no bun in the oven, but we are going to have more children hopefully. So. That's so awesome. Yeah. So oh. I'm just winging it. Yeah. How is it with Reebok? Do you like it? I do. Yeah. That's I'm, great. It's been really fun. You know, this has been like such a nice contract because there's no, you know, time limits. There's no right. like, time standards. There's no, you know, places that I have to, to be in races. So I basically am going around and, you know, representing their gear, which is really quite nice. I like it a lot. And, you know, I'm just hanging out with people and, and still getting to be in the sport, which, you know, it's hard when you're phasing out of it because that's yeah. your family. Even if you don't know people, you still feel like family. So right. now I just that's get to go so and cool. chat about Reebok gear and about running and being a mommy and working woman. And it's cool. That's awesome. I'm yeah. so happy for you. Yeah. We're enjoying it a lot. So Charlie cool. loves the gear as well. So <laughs> that's good to know. But thanks for joining me, Kara. It's been a blast and I can't wait to see you race next. And, um, you know, good luck to you. Stay healthy. Thanks, Carrie. I appreciate it. Thanks yeah. for having me. Thanks for joining me for my interview with Kara Goucher. Get after it.